スタートショー I grew up in a very、uh, strong Catholic family and went to a Catholic grade school. And in the eighth grade, they decided that they were going to、uh, talk to all the principals and nuns at the various schools and to see who the prospects were for the priesthood. <laughs> and so in eighth grade, I got to go and spend two weeks at the seminary. Um, I didn't want to be a priest, but it got me out of school.、Um, but one of the things we had to do every day was we had to go into a chapel that was roughly this size. I'm having flashbacks.、Uh, and we had to pray, we had to have silent prayer and contemplation,、uh, which meant that we had to open up our hearts and minds to the Holy Spirit so that He would come down and say, I want you to be a priest. Most of us kids in eighth grade didn't want, to, didn't want to go pursue this, but there was one guy. There was this one guy, and he was annoying in all the classes, and he was the one who was taking it so seriously. And so, and I can't remember his name, so I'll just say Steve. And so one day I said, when the priest who's, our,、uh, who's supposed to be、uh, watching us falls asleep, and he did every day, watch. And so I、um, ducked down on the floor, crawled under the pews. Called under the pew where this kid was, where Steve's praying, praying. And I said in my best, best Holy Spirit voice, <laughs> Steve, <laughs> it's the Holy Spirit. We don't want you. <laughs> I was sent home that night. <laughs> you were sent to this seminary to be all you can be, maggot. That's right. Now, drop down and give me 50 Hail Marys. <laughs> Two. Three. Three. Boy, yeah, where are you? Can I double up? Can I double up? I'm going to give him a, a heavier crucifix. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't wear it over your shoulders. Let's come first. <laughs> Boy, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from the New, New England.、Oh. Only two things come out of New England. Priests and feasts! <laughs> and you don't look like a bunch of food! Yeah! It's just that I, I have a promising engineering career ahead of me. <laughs> You're certainly not g o i n g to be an athlete. You're out of breath. <laughs> Engineering's probably a good field for you. <laughs> It's more work than you think to do a bunch of Hail Marys. Please, we can do 20 Hail Marys right now. I don't believe you. You have to give me 20 Hail Marys. I don't have to. I can bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. it. I don't have a problem with him spraying me with holy water. <laughs> I'm sorry.、Oh. Look, I thought about maybe I could be an engineer and make a third world country, you know, and go and give them. You know, basic bridges and basic roads and really improve the infrastructure so their economy and local economy can connect and grow and then eventually get connected to the global economy pulled out of poverty. No, we're mainly interested in people hearing confessions. You <laughs> really gotta man those booths. Yeah. You think it's hard to get people in voting booths? Confession booths, it's like you gotta be a pro and you gotta sit there all day. It's true. Son, I didn't want to be a priest when I first started e i t h e r Plenty of perks. For example, you know how girls are icky? Well, you're 16, you think girls are still icky, right? I'm pretty into girls. Okay, then I got no news on that front. <laughs> uh, oh, you know how you like dressing up, right? Super fun. Yeah, I like to dress nice, I guess. Yeah, well, you know, like wear a full robe, right? And a really tight collar around your neck all the time, right? It seems like it'd be really a weird combination of loose and tight. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, well, there's no w o r d then I got nothing to tell you about that. Okay, nothing else to say there. Um, you, know, like, you know, bad news is real fun, right? Whew. Yeah, and, and, you know, and also,、uh, you know, sometimes、uh, like when someone does something bad and it's an organization of like a billion people and they blame the whole billion people, that's a great thing, right? You want to be a part of that organization? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Come on, we've got, we've got thousands of years to baggage to get blamed on this. You're really losing this cell. I've got the army coming up and. 
they're doing a better job convincing me to go over and get shot. <laughs> We're going to do a lot of push-ups together as men. <laughs> There's wine involved. And if they don't finish it, you get to finish it. <laughs> Although, is that that? Yeah, why? Other people's wine? Sweaty men who make push-ups! Although, to be fair, it's blood when you're drinking it. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, come on, this is going to be funny. You know how, as a married couple, we love to play tricks on our kid, right? Well, of course. <laughs> I totally installed a microphone. Watch this, watch this. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Johnny's in the room, Johnny's in the room. Now you be the president. Oh, I can't Johnny! Johnny, it's Vishnu. <laughs> God of wrath? Yes! <laughs> the God of wrath, but also peace. <laughs> and wrath. Peace and wrath, Johnny! Johnny. Should I be peaceful or wrathful? Have you eaten a cow lately, Johnny? <laughs> I had hamburger yesterday. Me and my dad took me to a fast food restaurant. We met a really pretty lady. She was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's a uh, it's, uh, uh, Scientology guy. Me <laughs> <laughs> and Vishnu were just hanging. We don't have to tell anything about fast food restaurants. No, no, Johnny. You, Vishnu's listening. You can, you can tell all that you want. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we you just... have no legal recourse if you don't tell about the fast food restaurant. I will make every cow you eat angry with you, Johnny, if you don't tell me what happened at that fast food restaurant. The Scientology guy? Uh huh. <laughs> What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> like, we've all seen that South Park episode, right? <laughs> it's just... Ah, uh, uh, hey, it's... Uh, Hare Bra Krishna. Brahma. <laughs> Brahma, the and, god of the bras? And Zeus. <laughs> and Thor. Oh, Thor, I gotta tell you about a guy I met with my mom the other day. He looked just like you. He had a shirt off. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really very religious. I'm more like spiritual, you know? Yeah, like yeah. I believe in zombies and some werewolves and stuff. <laughs> that's fair. That's, uh, yeah, I understand no. that that's why you're, you're in my, my rapture tent. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. That's I, but it's still it's funny. I feel bad. I was pretty evangelical about it. And yeah. I really convinced a lot of people that werewolfism was the way. Well. When's the last time you looked at the moon? I mean, you really look at In your heart. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, listen, I, I, don't want, I don't want any trouble. I see a guy like you, short sleeve, His white button up. Take a table down. I don't. I don't. Just read on your own time. I'm not gonna keep it. If you can't it to me, I'm just gonna throw it away, or I'll probably put it in my dashboard. <laughs> and uh, and all of those people that you convinced that zombieism was, yeah. was also the way. Right. Because you know, because for spiritualism, there's a lot of options. Right. right. You get to choose your own demigod. Dem yeah. And what is dead may never die. <laughs> so, you know, for some people, right? There's a man who lived on this earth a long time ago, and he lived a good life. And then he died. And then he rose from the dead for you and me. And then he bit people. <laughs> <laughs>